to my channel my name is Nadi. you can either call me Nadi or you can call me Nautica either one works so today we're going to be doing another vegan grocery haul and today we went back to Whole Foods um we spent about a hundred and sixty dollars at Whole Foods today but I think we really got a lot of good things um so we actually planned out our meals this time but we also got a lot of things that I've been trying to find at other grocery stores that I haven't been able to find. So I'm ready to show you guys what I got. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know um, what kind of things y'all be getting from Whole Foods. Because I think Whole Foods is one of the best places to get vegan things, organic things. I believe Kroger and Whole Foods have been my top favorite stores. Um, I go to Myers a lot though because it's like really close to where I live, but I would prefer going to Kroger and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I really like Trader Joe's too. But yeah, let me show y'all. Let me stop talking. Okay. We got this Three Trees Organic Unsweetened Almond Milk. So I've been trying to find some almond milk that's only almond milk. Well, not almond milk, but only almonds and filter water. And guess what? That's what we got today. It's literally on the back. It says filter water and organic almonds and pretty much that's all you want in your milk you don't want all those gums and all that i don't know whatever they be putting in milk that they should not be putting in there so i'm really happy but the thing is these things are six dollars a bottle but i think that's it's worth it for it only being filter um water and almonds because that's what i've been looking for all this time um it has four grams of protein in there and it's yeah that's pretty oh and it's woman on <laughs> look at them look at them look at them but i got two of those and so yeah i spent like 12 dollars on two things of milk but it's okay got this kite hill plant-based butter so i've been hearing really good things about kite hill but i've never tried it so i wanted to try it and i got this butter i usually get um the vegan version of I can't believe it's not butter I don't know but I usually get that but like it has a lot of like extra stuff in it that I don't be wanting in my um butter this one has coconut oil almond milk um sunflower oil I don't know if sunflower oil is good I have to like research that cocoa butter when they when they put natural flavors then it's a problem because what, what what is what is the natural flavors um sea salt cultured something dextrose i don't know y'all i don't know how to pronounce these words um i probably won't get this again i think i'm probably gonna try to make my own butter but for now we got this kite heel this kite heel sour cream i'm pretty sure it probably has a lot of similar ingredients as well as the butter actually no it has almond milk, coconut oil, rice starch. I didn't know rice had, well, rice is a starch, right? Uh, coconut milk, something that I can't pronounce, chickpea protein, salt, and cultures. What are cultures? I don't know. But I wanted some sour cream, and they said that this tastes really similar to regular sour cream, so I'm really hoping for that. But it does say it's dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, no artificial preservatives, made from live and active cultures. What is what is that? Anyway, it's kosher, and then it has zero grams of sugar in it. We got some organic orange juice. So I've been really trying not to drink out of plastic. But like, I believe I got some juice that's in plastic bottles. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to get everything out of plastic. But um, I got this organic juice because it has calcium and vitamin D, and it's literally the only thing that's in here is organic orange juice, vitamin D3, and then tricalcium phosphate. It only has three ingredients, so it can't be that bad, right? Then. We got some potato and pea. Is it samosas? Samosas? I wanted to try these though. We're actually eating these for dinner tonight. So, um, I don't know what that green stuff is, but I don't know if it comes with it. But I was just trying to make sure nothing had like, um, 
any oh my gosh oh i was trying to make sure nothing has any like eggs or anything like that in there you know vegans do not eat anything from an animal at all um and then we all got these egg rolls which they don't have egg in them either we just got some buns i'm really trying to get off bread but a lot of things require bread but i'm trying not i'm trying to eat it like a lot less than i usually do because like bread is just so good but it's not good for you so we really need to stop eating bread too but i just got these buns some organic on the vine tomatoes um i don't know what i know this what kind of pepper i don't know what kind of peppers these are but i needed them for I, I think the orange one is a habanero i don't know what color i mean which ones the other ones are but i need these for the sauce that i'm making for my tacos and i got two green peppers organic of course one red bell pepper some avocado so i can make some guacamole pre-made um pico i was actually going to make my own but hmm, i got this um watermelon they be charging too much for these fruit containers and i don't ever see like the whole fruits i would rather buy like a whole watermelon and cut it up myself why are y'all charging me almost seven dollars for pieces of chopped watermelon like is this the whole watermelon um red onions i already had some but i bought some more not knowing but we put onions in everything so it's okay key limes i got some spring water the mountain valley kind i got three of these yeah three of these some tomato sauce well pasta sauce um this is the italian and herb and then i also got tomato and basil kind some apple juice because you not you guys know i love apple juice we got watermelon and strawberry i'm hoping this one's good this is probably gonna be the one that i opened today um but it does say 60 percent less sugar some tortillas i have a piece another type of bread but spinach cane sugar blueberries some pineapple this one is expensive too this one is seven dollars i hope they cutting up the whole pineapples and whole watermelons for these things since they charging us an arm and a leg for a container of fruit brown rice try not to eat white rice brown rice is supposedly better for you and this is actually quote unquote vegan rice it's just water long grain brown rice sunflower oil that's all that's in here um and these are like the ones where you steam it or you can put it in the microwave, I believe. Yeah, you can put it in the microwave or you can put it on a stove. But I'm using it to make some um, Mexican rice because I want some really, really bad. But I'm also hoping I'll mess it up. And I'm also hoping that I'm making it like the Mexicans do because they make some good, they make some good rice. Said when I looked it up, you can use brown rice as well. So I got some brown rice and I got some roasted cumin turmeric root turmeric is supposed to be really good for you so i'm probably just going to add these to our smoothies when we drink them some vegetable broth because we don't do no chicken broth over here or no beef broth vegetable broth okay like six cans of jackfruit which i need for my tacos for my sliders that i'm making and what else was i making um I forgot, but I got six cans and I haven't been able to find jackfruit nowhere else. Um, so I got, that's why I got six cans. Cause I'm like, I be needing jackfruit a lot. And this is the can kind. I really didn't want this kind, but they only had can and frozen. So I chose can. We got this vegan barbecue sauce, um, triple crown barbecue sauce tangy sweet and smoky they have a lot of different kinds that is it that's everything that we got from whole foods today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know like i said what do you guys get from whole foods that's vegan because i would like to try some new things i mean i think i got a lot of new things today but um yeah